It's a marvel of modern engineering, historic and important to the nation's economy, carrying 300,000 vehicles per day. And since 2013, a massive $2 billion state of good repair project has been underway to restore the George. The process for replacing the suspender ropes and doing the main cable rehabilitation is very time consuming. Uh, the, the main cables are the backbone of the bridge. Each one of the main cables is made up of 26,474 individual wires. The wire and the four main cables themselves, if you unravel that, it's over 100,000 miles of wire. Ken Tripaldi is the senior engineer for the Restore the George program. He says replacing the suspender ropes that connect the main cables to the bridge is a challenge. There are 592 suspender ropes. Each one of the suspender ropes is a like a twisted wire rope, uh, you know, like you like you see, and it spans, um, and it's about three inches in diameter, and they vary in length depending on where they are on the bridge. It's the first time they've been replaced since the bridge opened in 1931. They wrap around the main cables on what's called a cable band, which are also taken off, cleaned, repainted, and put back in the same location, and underneath the main cables also being rehabbed. The 26,474 individual wires that was compacted into this three-foot diameter tight. Then it was white, wrapped tight with an outer wire to hold it tight and painted to protect it. That wrap gets removed, the wires cleaned, and it's rewrapped and coated with paint. This is a new addition that wasn't on the original structure. This elastomeric wrap is a new protective layer to keep the main cables uh, dry uh, and also airtight because we've added a new dehumidification system. He says even without that system, the cables were in good shape, but the hope is that all the work now will mean no more work will be needed for a long time. It's a vital link. To, to the Northeast region. So we need to do, and the Port Authority is doing, you know, whatever it can to continue to maintain that. We're, we're definitely hoping that, that this will give the bridge another 100 plus years easy. The project will also benefit cyclists and pedestrians. A new south walkway complete with a ramp for people with disabilities on the New York side will open in 2027. Samantha Liebman, New York One. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest news and weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.